Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and it has been a while, my friends. Uh, if you have noticed my absence, it is A, because I was having mental health, you know, issues, problems, what have you. But another thing, I was actually working as an author on an official Animal Crossing publication, the complete Animal Crossing guide. It's coming out this April. I can tell you as someone who worked directly on it, it's amazing. It's like the first book. It's by the same publisher, except this one includes everything. So there's like a terraforming guide. There's happy home paradise stuff. You're gonna love it. So I'm sorry that I was gone for a few weeks, but I hope that this book makes it worth it. And check out the pre-order link in the bio. This is not sponsored in any way. I'm just really proud of it. Today we're visiting the island that is aptly named Yellow. As you can see, that is indeed going to be the theme here. I love this island. I've seen so many pictures of it. It is by my friend Matilda Lilomini over on Instagram. Let's take a look at this map. There's the dream address at the bottom if you'd like to tour alongside me. Obviously, it's going to be mostly custom design pathing, which I love to see. I am definitely into custom design pathing. I also really appreciate that all of the villagers here are yellow too. Like, what a commitment to a theme. So here we've got Benjamin, Twiggy, Graham, Joey, Tammy, Nate, Chatter, Egbert, my darling, Fret, and Cousteau. Without further ado, I want to dive in here because what the heck? I love islands like this that have these little encased yards and stuff. I don't understand how people make them look so cute and cozy. I feel like when I try to do yards like this, they turn out just looking awkward. This is amazing. These all look phenomenal. The pathing is so beautiful. All of the decor is so fitting. The custom designs, by the way, the custom design codes will be in the description if you'd like to use any of the ones that you see. I think this is beautiful. Let's go in the resident representative's house and see how that's decorated. If it's all interior yellow too, I'll be awed. Shut the heck up. Look at how bright and happy this is. It's funny because yellow is actually my least favorite color, but when it's done right, it's so pretty. I mean, do you like my outfit? Look at my little outfit. We've got the adorable upstairs here. Look at this. It's like a little kid's playroom. Stop. The giant bear is so precious. And then we've got the bedroom on this part. Everything being yellow is so wild. And here's the downstairs. It's like a little gyroid work room. I guess you could also say that it's a pottery room and like this big machine is the kiln and the gyroids are like the creations, but I like to think of them as the artistes. Look at them. They're so talented. And this is the left room off of the main room. This is so cool. This is the kitchen, obviously. I think it looks amazing. All of these items blend so well together. And I love the little diner set. This was so smart. The other rooms were inaccessible, so we're gonna head on our funny little way here, but that was amazing. Here on the beach, we have the campsite. Check it out if I can get through here. How cute. I love this blanket design. And they're playing tic-tac-toe in the sand. Oh my gosh, I love it here. Matilda, please tell us whose amiibo you called in. Like, who's in the campsite here? Please tell us that it was a yellow villager. I am begging. Even the yellow lifeguard chair. I'm going to continue to be shocked that everything is yellow, even though that's like the whole point of this island. That's literally the theme. I'm still going to be shaken. I'm going to be completely caught off guard. Look at this. Little ducks. I almost said bunnies. I'm on a different planet right now. And a juice stand. Oh, this is adorable. This has to be the first time I've ever seen the pear wardrobe actually worked into an island design. Are you kidding? You know an island creator is magic if they can make that look like it belongs on the island. Wow. Before I get too far, there are gifts right beside resident services. I did pass these by on my way in, so let's open them up and see what we have got here. So there are some options for clothing for outfits. If you, unlike me, did not come prepared, actually one of the items I'm already wearing, the yellow ribbon, I think that's precious. We'll hold the yellow balloon. But yeah, you have items to get dressed up if you need them. This is precious. I know I've walked past this area twice already, but I just want to keep going this way because it says that the, <gasps> yeah, the museum in the town square. So we've got the museum here displaying some art outdoors. I don't know if that's completely safe for the art, but 
Blathers is the expert. And we've got this little bakery. This is freaking adorable. I think Matilda, I know we've only been here for a few seconds, but I think Matilda has me sold on a one color island, a monochrome island. I also love this pathing. What the heck? How pretty is this? I've got to stop. I've got to focus. I've got to focus. There is so much going on here. So here is the town square and then we're coming up on a pizza parlor. I'm following a map that Matilda gave me, by the way, which is how I can anticipate where we're going. We love to see it. This is so precious. Love these chairs and the little roses on the table. Let's check out the beach here. Lots of lounging space. You can come hang out on a beautiful summer day. And it is so sunny out today too. What a bright and happy little area. Here's an ice cream parlor. Everything is gonna melt so fast, but it's gonna feel so good on this sunny day. It also says there's a writing area over here. Oh my gosh, there is, look at it. You can come and write. I love it here. Look at this terraforming too. How gorgeous. What a perfect little area. I didn't mean to jump over on this little island, but we can enjoy the view. There's a bike rental. How cute. And there's even this little like number one sign. I think that's adorable. The fact that it's yellow too. Genius. Like, did the island creator go through and see every single item on Nukazon that could turn yellow or something? I don't understand how one even begins to compile all of these items. This crate, by the way, with this custom design. Another genius design choice. This is a flower shop, of course. Very beautiful, very classic. And here's a playground. It's giving the playroom upstairs in the house. There are so many like kid core yellow items. You love to see it. We've got a little picnic area and there's a surf shop on the beach. Oh, and a fish market. Look at this. Lots of yellow. I would not have expected there to be so many yellow items that would work for a fish market. But then I guess I wouldn't have expected there to be so many yellow items in general. Like I'm already shocked and we've only seen maybe 20% of the island. Look, here's Twiggy. Twiggy is so underrated. What a queen. What a little cutie. Even the pier. Even the pier. Someone's lost their little sun hat, but even the pier is decorated. Oh my gosh. And a painting area. Let's go look. Oh, here's the island creator. Hello, Matilda. Well, yellow there, mate. Oh my gosh. You all have to visit this island and follow Matilda because this was just brilliant. This entire island. We've even got little turtles with yellow shells. The dedication. The absolute dedication. So many turtles. Oh my gosh, let's go all the way up the beach while we're here, I suppose. A nice little lounging area. Again, somebody's playing their Nintendo Switch Lite. Don't leave it out in the sun, folks. And then we've got pottery on the beach rocks. This is another very classic build, but I love this new take on it. This new color focus. Everything is genius, great, amazing. Also, the Moroccan sofa looks so good out here. What a beautiful item. I also appreciate the use of the glowing moss instead of regular weeds because it has a more yellow tone. Again, everything is so, I don't know. It's like everything is so intentional. It's impressive. You can tell how much thought went into the creation of this island because every detail is well thought out. We'll go up here from the flower shop. Here's Nook's cranny with a bunch of yellow items around. You can come sit, look at this. I love this chair and table combo. I never would have expected to like a yellow island this much. Here's a little market area, almost like a farmer's market. Look at this, like a little community eating spot. I love the vibes of this little market. It's like a seasonal market too. Like you can come and get your seasonal veggies and stuff. There's even a gas station for your car. This is such a modern city. There is a biohazardous waste though. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. This pathing again, just blows my mind. It's so pretty. And oh, here's the bridge we were on earlier. So that's everything there is to see here. Let's go. I missed the music stand by the museum, I believe. 
I also did not appreciate this yard enough. Look how cute this is with the little fountain stop. Okay, no, it's behind where the museum is. We're good. We're good. I haven't, I haven't missed anything yet. We'll go up the staircase by the bakery. Here we are. We're ascending to the next level of the island. We've got some more homes. This one is for sale. It has been sold, so there is no real estate left on the island. In case you, like me, wanted to move here, we're out of luck, pals. This is gorgeous. The fact that every house is designed to fit the theme. Oh my gosh, and a little dog. A little dog. The fact that they have a dog and then they have the dog bone sign on their door. That is, again, another beautifully intentioned build. Oh, here's the music stand. Adorable. All the yellow things. Again, shocking. I cannot get over it. Even a yellow themed post office, a little package center. They even have these little, like, it's almost like a conveyor belt that they've made here with packages on it. You've got mail lockers. The details, the details. It's amazing. Oh, and we've got Able Sisters here. So well done. This is like a premium way to hide your buildings if they don't fit in. Obviously, Able Sisters is not a yellow building, so we just hit it because obviously that is the only thing to do. And this little seating space is so precious. You can make yourself a fresh cup of joe while you're sitting here. We're following the yellow brick road. Oh my gosh, it's literally a yellow brick road. Are we in the Wizard of Oz? Yes. It says, oh, look at this custom design pathing. You have got to be kidding me. This is phenomenal. It says there is a beach spa here. How beautiful. I want to live here just so I can rest and relax. Oh my gosh. And then up here is a lighthouse area. It looks like a little cafe too. You can sit and enjoy the lighthouse beaming above you. And then another little seating space. This island is so relaxing. It does feel like a tropical getaway. It's so brightly colored. Everything is so happy and joyous. The sun is so bright. It's just honestly paradise here. Then we've got a mush valley. Lots of mushroom items. This is another beautiful thing. I don't think I've ever seen the yellow mushroom items used. It's always like the brown ones or the red and white ones. So this is beautiful too. I wouldn't have even remembered that they could be yellow. And then we've got a little wheat field. Oh my gosh. Fitting since the wheat is yellow. Ooh, and it says a yard sale over here. Look at this. I love yard sales. I think they're such a cute and like, I don't know. It's like a subtle way to use a lot of items from your storage that you might not have otherwise used. And in this case, it's a cute way to showcase some of the yellow items that we might not have seen elsewhere on the island that might not have fit in elsewhere in the theme. So this is just really adorable. And this little resident home, stop. What is going on? There are so many plants here. This is like the peach surprise, but that's a whole baby. That's a whole baby. Bro, that's like a human baby. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that was like a little horror surprise, just a little bit. But this is connected to the little walk we were going through earlier where the post office and everything is just so you know, that is right here. So you can go from that area right behind resident services immediately to where we are now. We love an island that is easily traversed, honestly. We've got laundry out here yet again. Another twist on a classic Animal Crossing build. This looks beautiful. And then there's the secret beach out here. Very simple and restful. I love my little balloon, by the way. Then we've got another little neighborhood. This person looks like they're running a construction zone. Another, like, we got some more waste out here. Some hazardous stuff going on. You know, there are concerns in every community. Then we've got like an apiary here, a little place for bees. I think that's what it's called, an apiary. How adorable. This glowing moss rock. I did not realize you could place that on things. I wonder if the interior of the villager houses is also yellow. I can't believe I considered even for a moment that they wouldn't be. I, oh my gosh, amazing. Let's continue exploring here. A sewing area. It's kind of cool that this isn't super close by um, Able Sisters. I feel like that's the only time I ever see like sewing areas. 
But this is so cute. And oh, don't even get me started. What is that over there? What is that over there? We've got a sunflower field. Let me break my camera out. We got to get the best possible view. Stop right now. Stop right now. I guess you could argue that a yellow themed island wouldn't be complete without sunflowers. But since Nintendo didn't give them to us, I would never expect it. But here we are. Because it's a Matilda did not let us down. <laughs> Matilda did not let us down. How gorgeous. 100 million out of 10. This is one of the best islands I've ever seen, hands down. And the fact that it's themed around my least favorite color should tell you a lot. So we've got this another little like public banquet area, complete with a piano for entertainment, of course. I could really dig into whatever this is right now. And there's a little home over here too. This is a very yellow house. This house is aggressively yellow. And they're growing a bunch of little yellow pumpkins. You could even pretend they're squash. Do they look like squash? No, but it's in the Gord family, right? This is freaking great. I have not been this impressed by an island in a long time. Like, I hope you guys know how genuine I'm being right now. This is phenomenal. So well done. I think we've seen everything except for there's an outdoor bath on the island, which obviously we need to see. I didn't mean to jump over there, but uh, this is a little fishing zone, which is cute. Can we just escape here? Oh my gosh, I was pulling on my little balloon. Okay, I've got to figure out how to get down there. I've got to, I've got to figure something out. Okay, yeah, here's the outdoor bath. How Freaking cute! You've even got a little rubber ducky, of course. I mean, that's like a necessity when you're doing yellow. This is beautiful. Again, an opportunity to use an item you might not have seen. Otherwise, this little claw foot tub. I don't believe we had a bathroom in the resident representative house. So this is adorable. This pathway is so beautiful. Let me give you a view. Say psych right now. Say psych. This is... Oh my god. This is just one of the most spectacular islands. I'm never going to get over it. I don't even like yellow. I don't know if you all could tell how much I thoroughly and genuinely enjoyed this island tour, but Matilda, thank you for making my entire day with your creativity. Thank you, Egbert, for stopping by through my outro because I love you, King. And thank you, viewers, for sticking around, even though I needed a little break. I hope that you'll check out the book I mentioned, and I hope that if you're having a hard time mentally, you'll take some time to care about yourself, too, because you deserve a break as well. Thank you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.